So we already have our servo connected to the Arduino, and we're going to connect it into MATLAB so we're able to control it through the software. I've already developed a header for this code. I have my Arduino connect and my servo connect already commented out. I'll talk about this in a second. And then I've got my code, which is a while loop, so it never ends. So it's one equals equal one, so it's never ending. I'm writing a position to the servo, pausing for two seconds, writing a new position to the servo, pausing for two seconds, and then we just run through and we're moving around. So it should move to different locations for two seconds and then go to the next one. How a servo works is we send pulses to it. And so we send a smaller pulse and it will cause it to go in one direction. We send a mid-level pause pulse and it will cause it to pause. We send a longer pause pulse and it will cause it to spin the other direction. So for reference, what we will do is we will say that this is zero, this is 0.5, and this is one. So if we write the position to it and it is um, zero, what will happen is we're going to send this shorter pulse to it and it's going to turn to the left. If we write the position one to it, right, it's going to send this longer pulse and it's going to turn to the right. If we send 0.5, so the middle point there, it will send the middle duration and cause it to stay in place. And then the other directions are gradients between. So if I send 0.25, it will not turn the same amount uh, as it did if it was zero, but it will still turn for us. The reference document for this is wonderful. And so you can go in and you can have the servo um, code, you have your Arduino assigning, and what all is going on there. Um, and then basic commands for it. To look at this code real quick, so we're going to put in S equals servo, which MATLAB will know that term. A is the Arduino that's connected to. D4 is a pin uh, that we're connecting to. The minimum pulse duration is like the far left pulse that we saw. The max pulse duration is the far right that we saw. And so I want to steal from here. I'm going to place it in right down here. And so again, I've got my servo. I've got A for Arduino. Arduino is already in. It won't accept it if it's not. D9 is where my pin is connected. My minimum pulse duration, my max pulse duration, I've gotten off the website. I'm going to send that in. It identifies that as an information. And now I'm going to go ahead and move forward with my code. So since I've already gotten written, when we go to right position zero, it's going to go all the way in one direction, and that's going to slowly correct back, stop, and go to the middle, go to 0.75, and then go to one. So I'm going to go ahead and run that, and you can hear my hear my servo move. Let me see if I can pull up a video. And so now we can see that it is moving in relationship to those different directions for us. All right, well, I hope that worked for you, and we can move forward.